warm welcome to you all as we wander through the readings on this Good Shepherd Sunday. Um, I'm very fortunate today that I actually have a prop, as they say. Um, this is a lovely statue of Jesus the Good Shepherd, which was given to me um, by the parish of Panath and Landoc uh, when I left there um, after my second curacy in 2013. Um, it's a lovely gift to have been given, a reminder to that commission to love and to care. I've also got this morning on uh, what serves as our altar, my ordination chasuble. Um, I don't wear it very often as the churches I've all served in have all got chasubles, but that's a, a good reminder to me as well about the obligation of care and love that a priest is given uh, through presiding at the Eucharist and through sharing the body and blood of Christ with the community. Shepherding is a, is a wonderful symbol that idea of care and love. But it's very easy to think it's somebody else's responsibility. When we get the image of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, we are reminded that we are all given, by virtue of our baptism, a vocation to care, a vocation to love, because that is at the heart of faith. In our first reading this morning from the Acts of the Apostles, a particularly famous reading, um, Acts uh, chapter 2 verse 42 we're told about many being baptized and being added to the community and what are they given to do they're given to the breaking of the bread and the prayers they are there in the, for the worship of almighty god a good reminder all of our core purpose as a church is first of all to pray and then from that prayer from the celebration of the eucharist to go out and to be inspired to care and to love. It's a reminder to us that faith is not just about being seen to be good or to be seen to be doing good, but rather about putting our trust in God and letting that energy for goodness flow from God and from his grace. We are told then of this commission to love. We are reminded that we place our dependence on God Psalm 23 reminds us that the Lord is our shepherd, that if we take him as our example, we will be loved and we will be cared for. But of course, as well as being loved and cared for by God, we're also given certain responsibilities as children of his creation. We are called to live out our vocations. Now, our vocations for each and every one of us is different. Nevertheless, we are called to discern them and to live them out. Discernment is a particularly important thing. It means taking time to reflect and to think about the way forward, to see what we might feel prompted to do by God's grace and by God's gift. We don't just do that on our own part, as if to say, I have decided that God has told me. No, we actually have to discern it together in the wider community of the church. And when we are given a call to a particular ministry, it needs to be tested by the wider church, that others may discern wisely with us. For those of us who have a ministry of spiritual accompaniment and spiritual direction, we know that we spend an awful lot of time listening. And what is important is what is heard and the silence that follows it. That we actually listen to what is being said. That we don't rush to respond. As Christians, we need to develop the ability to listen to what is going on in our world. In this time of pandemic, in this time of instability and, and rapid change, we are reminded that we are called to listen. We might, as a result of lockdown, have much more time on our hands when we're at home. Use that time wisely to pray and to discern and to think about what your vocation really is. In our Gospel reading today, Jesus is quite firm with the Pharisees. He tells them about what real love and real care is all about. He reminds us that we are not called to destroy and to knock down, but rather to build up and to make whole. That is a very high calling. 
a calling that is given to each and every one of us. Vocation is not a special gift of some sort of spiritual elite. That there are, for example, a group of men and women in the church who are called to pray and do everything for us on our behalf. Vocation is a gift that is given to all of us. And it's a high calling that's given to all of us because we have been baptised. We have died to that old life and are raised up in Christ to new life, to a life that is transformed, the resurrection life. So this week, as you reflect on your spiritual journey, on your path, think very carefully about your vocation. What is God calling you to do? How is God asking you to be transformed? And that's just as importantly, how is God through the gift and the grace of the Holy Spirit asking you to transform the world around you? And how can you grow his kingdom? May God bless you with his grace in your endeavours this week. Amen.